Hi y'all, today we're making buttermilk pie, also known as chest pie. All right, we're gonna start off with three eggs and we're gonna beat those with a fork. Now, this is not a, a recipe that's original to me, well, of course, because this is a very old recipe, very old timey recipe. Um, but I got this from my neighbor, Josie, because um, it's really one of the best buttermilk pies I've had. Uh, it's very good. And I should finish up with these eggs pretty quick and we'll get started. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to start off with uh, one and a half cups of sugar. And now a heaping tablespoon of flour, all purpose or self rising. And a heaping tablespoon of cornmeal, either white or yellow. And then I'm going to mix this with my hand. Um, I wash my hands like I'm doing surgery when I when I cook, so it's okay to mix things up that way. Okay, and here's the eggs again. And now a tablespoon of vanilla. And a stick of butter that's been melted, I put it in the microwave, and then allowed to cool, uh, just down to room temperature. You're not going to let it become a solid again, but you don't want it hot because it could cook those eggs. Uh, now, we've got two-thirds of a cup of buttermilk. And we're just going to mix that up again with our fork. And we're going to put this in pie shells. Um, now, if you want to make your own pie crust, that's awesome. Do that. But I just went ahead and used store-bought. Um, now, don't get the deep dish. Get the regular uh, depth pie crust. And um, actually, I'm going to put this in one crust. Um, it's really made to go in two crusts. And uh, um, I'll show you in a second. Here we go. Now, here's the crust. And you'll notice that I'll pour some, and then I'll think, well, no, and I'll and I'll stop, and then I'll pour some more. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do it my way or the traditional way. And the traditional way is that this should be enough to fill two crusts. And it does, um, and the pies are thin, and it's easy to cook through. Um, but uh, I like a thicker pie, and I keep mine in the fridge and serve it cold and then that helps it keep its shape and it's not so soft um but uh, if you do want a thick pie and just use one crust then you'll have to do it that way have it cold and help that have that help it keep its shape um otherwise make two thinner pies and uh, here it is out of the oven you're going to cook it till it gets brown which could be anywhere from like 30 to 40 minutes if it's uh, double thickness and um this foil uh, helps to keep the uh, uh, the crust from burning. Um, I let it brown and then I covered it with foil. You're supposed to cover it with foil and then let it brown. I did it uh, the opposite, but I put this on a baking sheet before I put it in the oven. Um, but this is it. Uh, it's a lovely little pie. Uh, the This piece looks terrible because uh, it wasn't chilled, so it's not keeping its shape real well. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, you've been in the kitchen with Dinah.